coming to Pushkar and wondering where to stay. Well guys, we have stayed at the seventh heaven in here in Pushkar and it is absolutely amazing. Let's show you around. When you make it into the entrance of the hotel, you're greeted by this beautiful fountain. Pushkar is known for its roses and guys, they put rose petals all over everything here and it constantly smells of flowers. Something that I really loved about being in this area is that you always feel like you're outside. We've come here in the winter time where it's been absolutely gorgeous weather, like 50 degrees sweater weather. And down here, you're able to order breakfast and lunch and dinner. And they turn on all of these beautiful lands. It's such a romantic setting with the fountain in the background and they have swings scattered all around. It's just a lovely space to hang out in. Right next to the fountain, you can see that there is a boutique right in the hotel and it has tons of cute stuff. It is a little bit more expensive than other places. Here in Pushkar, you can probably get a better deal, but still just fun to browse around while you're waiting for dinner. Now that we've shown you the first floor, let's go on and move on to the next one. Look at all of these roses. This is literally all over the hotel. And we have made it to the second floor. Again, continuing with the open air feel, there's vines that are going up all the way to the fourth floor, which has a beautiful restaurant. And it just so happens that we've made it to our room. Let's go inside. And now we have made it into the bedroom and guys, it is beautiful. When I first walked in, my favorite thing and the first thing that I did was jump on this super duper comfy bed. And if you guys have seen most of our other accommodations, it's rarely in a room that feels like a home. And something that I've loved about this bedroom is the lamps are very decorated. It has a little nook for us to have breakfast. And we've even been able to call for breakfast and dinner from the room service area. And they literally bring us everything that we could possibly want right here to this room. Also, we do have a couch and a library. Okay, let me show you the bathroom. As you can see here, there's plenty of shelf space for you to put your stuff away. And then the bathroom is really romantic. Daniel and I unfortunately did not get to take a shower together, mostly because it's been so cold here in Pushkar that we've been just trying to hoard as much hot water as we possibly can. But I love that this bathroom feels so homey. This mirror is fantastic. I've been doing my makeup here every single day and I love that it's spacious and I could like lay out all of my makeup here so that I could do it. And they do come with these really nice towels and other hotels that we've been to here in India, if they do provide a towel, it's like one of those like thin and flimsy towels, but no, this is like one of those plush long ones that you really enjoy wrapping yourself in afterward. The room came with air conditioning. However, like I mentioned, it's been really cold in Pushkar, so it also came with a space heater, which is this little champion right here, which is actually really warm, so I'm gonna steal some of its warmth. Another thing that I really liked about this room is that from her bed, we would actually open all of the window shades, and it has almost like stained glass that the light comes in through. So in the morning, it has the most beautiful and romantic hue. It really moods up the room. And I love that all of the furniture that was in here is very antique. It matches the same exact kind of decor and feel and vibe as the area outside of the room. It almost feels like you're in nature, but you're in a cozy old home and a hotel room that like takes care of every need. We really love the seventh heaven. This is another one of the floors and every single time we elevate to a different floor, it has different decorations, but all still beautiful. Now look at this restaurant. From the restaurant, you're able to get a rooftop view of all of Pushkar. Pushkar is not very big, it only has 15,000 people in the town, but it has over a thousand temples. And this hotel is situated right across from one of the biggest temples. And we can see the whole thing from up here. Sorry, that's a lot of stairs. <sighs> okay, to the downstairs. <laughs> 
As you guys can see, this place is beautiful, which is why we are so sad that we are leaving Pushkar today. We do again want to thank our sponsor, India Someday, for letting us show you this amazing town of Pushkar, which we would have otherwise never visited had it not been for their recommendation. On that note, guys, we're going to catch you when we get to the taxi. And we're ready to make it to our train. Now we're going to job for because we have a wedding coming up. All right, so we have made it to the train station. Sorry to not show you anything of getting here. I got really nauseous coming down the winding roads and I was just like, I'm gonna see it with my eyes closed. But I think our train is here. We we'll probably have another 40 minutes to wait, but that also means that I get to peruse all of the different train snacks. My favorite so far is literally what I just got. I wish I would, I was just so out of it from the nausea. I didn't even think to film it for you guys, but they were like literally just deep fried jalapenos and potatoes and it was delicious. So comment down below with your guys' favorite train snacks because it seems like each train station has a different type of snack completely. So they've all been really good. Mm. All right, to the train. I cannot wait to get rid of everything that's in one of these backpacks. It's literally just been all the wedding stuff since that's the whole reason we're going to Jaipur. And as soon as I send this crap back to my parents, we are back down to one backpack. Until then. <laughs> I feel like I'm a tank but every time I put the one on the back and one in the front. There you go. Thank you. Champion. All right, let's do it. And it is this cart? Yeah. I actually don't know if it's this cart. It's the safety one. Ooh, that smells yummy. Ugh. Oh, that smells awful. Ooh. Excuse me, ma'am. Is yeah. this C1? C1 Perfect. Uh, okay. Thank, Thank you very much. All right, sweet. We want to make sure that we were in the right cabin so we didn't get moving and then someone be like, um, excuse me, you're in your seat? This is the train preparation. We get on, we put our bags. We've got this down to a system now that we're traveling. So the train just started moving and we're on the way to Jaipur and I am super duper excited because we're going to an Indian wedding and Daniel and I even got like our lehenga and kurta pajama ready for the wedding and we have to learn a dance. And so I'm really excited to make it to Jaipur and start getting like all of the wedding stuff ready. All right, so now that the train has started moving and we've gotten ourselves all nice and comfy, I think we're just gonna start working because what else do you do on train travel? <laughs> One thing that has been super helpful though, if you guys have Netflix, download the app and it lets you download offline versions of certain shows that they've just let you download. And so you can either just binge watch your favorite TV series with no internet, or you can do the work that you want with no internet. So I think now we're gonna do the work with no internet. So see you guys after. So while we've been on the train just working on the laptops, something that actually never happened on any of the trains is people coming by with like tea and stuff because I guess they're not allowed to sell it usually but for some reason today there's someone on the cart so we have our rupee and it's time to get some chai which is delicious by the way uh, how much for two? 20 it is so hot. Something you should never ever do in India, ever, ever, no matter how you feel, is drink chai, drink chai exactly when it's served. It comes to you so hot that it will burn your mouth and you won't be able to taste anything for like a day and a half. <laughs> but uh, sorry Annette, both these are mine. Thank you very much. Mine, thank you. <laughs> Something that I love about taking the trains is that when the doors are closed to the outside area, you can just open them up. And uh, I went to go like film out the side so you guys could see what it looks like. And this guy just was sitting here chilling, so I uh, copied the idea. The only thing when hanging outside of a train, be careful with the stuff that comes close to the train. Never want to get your head taken off. <laughs> 
and we don't recommend you do this at all. But if you're here and you decide to ignore our recommendation, it's pretty freaking cool. Anyways, as you guys have been watching our last couple of vlogs, the trip to Pushkar has been absolutely amazing. We've been able to not only go to a very quiet and holy city, we were able to go there during the middle of their wedding season, which has led to literally nothing but dancing in the streets. It's led to entire like caravans of people having like festival style dances and all sorts of other stuff right outside. And we've literally just been able to like go step onto a balcony and watch it all. It's been incredible. But here, let me, let me pull back a little because the train's starting to move quite a bit. But it's been amazing. A huge thank you to India Someday for setting all this up. They've actually provided everything, including the railway tickets to Pushkar and everything in between and then leaving Pushkar for us. That way we could experience what someone experiences when they're booking through them. And it was such a smooth process. Never at any point did I feel lost or confused or unsure of what to do. Everything was provided and it's been absolutely a pleasure. But now we're on our way to Jaipur. I know Annette had mentioned about the wedding and we're super stoked for it. So I guess we'll see you guys when we get there. I think we only have another 30 minutes left. So something to be careful of though. Whenever you are hanging out, don't do it next to a bathroom. When someone flushes, I'm pretty sure it just hits the track and splatters. So uh, keep that in mind. Don't want to think you're getting a nice daily mist when you're really not. That was really gross. So you know how I said I'm pretty sure it's just bathroom splatter that hits the tracks? And it's not the lovely daily dew? It's exactly what it was. So at first, before I had said the comment that I said earlier, I had like gotten a little, like just a couple drops. One on my lip, one on my face. And I was like, I'm just gonna wipe that off. But then I went back out and I put my feet on the steps. And all of a sudden, I just got this of splatter on my feet. And I was like, what was that? And I look back, and in the end of the cart, someone had finished, just finished using the bathroom and walked out. And I was like, <laughs> All right, so that was a quick and easy two-hour ride, and we have made it to Jaipur Station. We honestly almost missed it because we weren't paying attention. <laughs> we were like, maybe we should check this one to make sure it isn't ours. It was ours. All right. Make our way to the So we're staying at Mustache Hostel, just this time it's Jaipur instead of Mustache Delhi. Uh, but now we've been in like email communications with the guy and he said that it's, it's walking distance. So uh, I wonder how far. It's only a 15 minute walk. No? <laughs> more, than, more than 50. I don't mind if you're fine carrying the backpack. We also don't know more than 15 minutes, my friend. More than 15. What? Which hotel? Uh, well, sorry, he had actually asked me first. Huh. So we're going, yeah, yes. we're going to uh, Moustache yes. Hostel. Yes. Um, how much would that cost? 80 rupees. 80 rupees? 80 rupees. Can, Can you? 60? 70 rupees. 10 rupees discount. <laughs> okay. Okay, 65. No, 60. 60? Okay, thank okay. you, friend. Thank you. Anytime you guys are coming out of train stations, there's always going to be someone asking you for a ride. We always recommend just like looking at the the Uber amount and then just making an estimate, estimate based off that. And everyone's super nice. So I'm gonna answer his question now. <laughs> We're from America. Oh my god. Oh, it's a big country. You're a very big country. Well, India is a big country too. What's your name, bro? My name is Daniel. Daniel? Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Myself, Ali. Ali? Ali. Good Daniel? to meet you. And this is my Daniel? wife, Annette. Sorry, I have no free hands. Thank you. Hi, Sophie. Hi. 
Good to meet you. Welcome to my Indian helicopter. Ah, my Indian helicopter, perfect. <laughs> my God, you suit? Yeah, we have a wedding. Where? In, in Jaipur. Really? Yeah, yeah. So that's why, because we never have this much stuff. We only ever have one backpack. So, but I thinking, all... my thinking is you're shopping for here, yeah? Huh? You're shopping for here, Jaipur? No, we did all of our shopping in Kolkata. <laughs> what was that, Annette? Oh, Look, ma'am. That stabilizer is heavy. Fast ladies. Good man. She's your friend or she's like my wife. My wife. Yeah. Oh, she's your life. My life, yes. She is. <laughs> Ten dollar, twenty dollar, thirty dollar, forty dollar, fifty dollar, sixty dollar. I'm very rich man. <laughs> <laughs> it was Thank great. You so much. One thing more. Alrighty, guys. Sorry, all of our equipment seemed to just die from power all at once. We've made it to Mustache Hostel in Jaipur. If you, and if you guys have watched our Delhi vlogs, you know how much we just love Moustache Hostels. So on that note, make sure you guys give this video a like, hit the subscribe button so that way you can follow the rest of our adventures around the world and in India. And we'll see you guys on our next adventure.